Hey everybody, Paul W1VLF here. And today we're gonna to build a simple capacitor and we're gonna do some experiments with it. And we're gonna measure our results with this instrument right here. This is uh, an HP4271B, measures up to uh, 200 nanofarads and as low as uh, point something uh, picofarads. So anyway, um, we're gonna try different dielectrics and uh, see what happens as we uh, experiment with a v extremely basic capacitor. If you're interested, stick around and we'll get right to it. W1VLF. Hey everybody, my name is Paul W1VLF. Welcome back to the lab. And today we're going to uh, be experimenting with a home brewed capacitor. Um, very, very simple. I'll show you right here. Um, after all, what is a capacitor? But it's uh, two plates spaced by a dielectric. In this case, we're going to our dielectric initially will be air, and we'll measure the amount of capacitance at a spacing of one inch, uh, three quarters of an inch, half of an inch, and then a quarter of an inch. We'll watch what happens to the um, the amount of capacitance as we do that. And then what we'll do is we'll stick in different uh, value, uh, excuse me, different materials as a dielectric, and we'll see what happens to two things. One, the dissipation factor, which is essentially a, the loss that's in the capacitor, and two, the amount of increase in capacitance uh, when we put in that dielectric. Now, of course, when you you know you look at these two capacitors, they're, they're physical metal plates. But in the case of any a normal capacitor that you might think of, there might be uh, tiny uh, plates like this, very small, stacked, maybe a hundred of them or something to get the correct amount of value that you're looking for. Or each one of these plates may be separated by a dielectric and then rolled into a cylinder to make it more convenient. So let me set up for that and uh, we'll take a look at this, at um, making our own capacitor and some of the effects that uh, dielectric and spacing half. Okay, so let's take a closer look. Each one of these plates, uh, they're just standard aluminum, I don't know, 10 thousandths thick, something like that. Um, something I had just happened to have around in the shack here. Uh, each one of them is about 10 and a half by about two and a half inches in length, or excuse me, 10, in, 10 and a half inches in length and approximately two and a half inches uh, in width. And here's the uh, spacer block which we're going to be using. And I 3D printed these two pieces at the same time and really all they are is just something to keep the plates aligned and uh, referenced so that we won't, you know, things won't be flopping around when we go to do this, when we go to uh, take a look at this. So I'm gonna, um, the, the distance between here and here, if you can see that or not, is one inch and then three quarters of an inch, excuse me, one inch from, from my left thumb to my right to my right index finger, then half an inch, then quarter of an inch. So we'll be able to look at the capacitance difference and then we'll also be able to stick in um, our three dielectrics here. Uh, one of them is a couple of pieces of cardboard, let's say that's similar to paper, and the other is, um, uh, this one is, they're both poly, uh, polycarbonate. This one's thicker, thinner, so we'll, we'll put those in. And uh, if you look at the, uh, whoop, I dropped my, uh, my lead. This is a four wire measurement, so it's calibrated out to, um, out, out to the, the, the measurement plane is right here at the tip. So here I have three capacitors. We'll take a real quick look at them. This one I believe is 12 picofarads. Okay, 1%, 12.5 uh, picofarads. Okay, uh, this one is probably, I don't know if it's the 68 or the 75. I can't remember, I can't, these are, um, oh, gotta change the, uh, the setting here. Yeah, this is the 75. So 75.86, that's dead nuts on, right? Within 1% anyway, that would, and this one I believe is 120 picofarads. Uh, I'll take a look at that real quick. 
119.56. So the instrument's in good shape, and so is so are those uh, those capacitors. So let's let's put this uh, let's put this together. So the uh, plate one, I'm just gonna shove it in there, and there's plate two, and let's try to get these lined up. Okay, now we're gonna clip the two sides here. One back here, and one over here, okay? And we're gonna see that we end up with about 9.1 picofarads between these two plates. Now they're relatively far apart. They're just about an inch spacing. And notice that, uh, let's, let's see, do we, can we go to a, 9.2 and about all, almost no loss at all, 0 0.001 loss. I'm gonna throw some cardboard in there and let's see what happens to the 9.2 and, and the, uh, the loss factor. Not much probably when they're this far spaced far apart, but we'll drop them in there. So not a hell of a lot happened in increase in um, capacitance, but we have about five or six times as much loss in this particular, uh, dielectric, which is why paper capacitors kind of suck. Um, let's move. Let's move into uh, the three-quarter inch position and see what happens to our capacitance here. Make sure these are lined up properly. And now we're up to twelve point something, and still a very low. Let me see. Do I need to go to? Uh, no. Let's see here. Point oh one. Okay, so now we're up to 12 picofarads and still, I don't know, do I have a 0.01 loss? I'm not sure why the loss looks so high there, but it's usually very, very low. Let's drop in the uh, dielectric, cardboard dielectric and see what we get. Now we're up to uh, 13, 13.13, and what was our, our loss? 0 0.006, right? 0.007. Let me just drop in a piece of polycarbonate. Okay, we went up to uh, 13.25 and we're still at an extremely low loss. Okay, it's better with air, um, but the capacitance has dropped, has dropped some. So now let's go down to, whoops, I moved these in the wrong direction, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, it doesn't matter though, because the, it, in the, the direction I went, the capacitance would have been the same. Okay, so this should give us the, the round, round 12 again, nope, 17, okay. Yeah, Eight, 18 picofarads. Now they're uh, a quarter, uh, excuse me, a half inch apart, okay? And let's see what happens when we stick the dielectric in there now. We go from 18, well, went actually up past 20, so we'll have to change range. From 18 to 21, but our loss factor went up significantly. Let's pull this out and see what that ended up being. Okay, 0.08 to 0.2, so three or four times the loss factor. Now let's stick a piece of polycarbonate in there. And polycarbonate gets us up to 32 picofarads and we're back at 0 0.009 loss. Okay, so I'll pull that out. You're back down to 18. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put them a quarter of an inch apart. Okay. Okay, so now we're up to 31 picofarads. And let's put in this very thin piece of uh, dielectric here. And we're up to 43 and still at 0 0.004. So it really depends on what dielectric you're using and the size. So th the formula is the, the area of capacitor plus the dielect dielectric constant um, and a few other items can enter into it. Uh, but let's see what happens when we put our paper dielectric back in. Whoops, gotta put it in this way. 
Okay, so significantly we we get, we made it. We go from 36 picofarads at 0.01 di dissipation factor to 43 picofarads and 0.004. So this piece of material here gives us a, an incredible amount, you know, significantly more capacitance and significantly less um, induct. Uh, excuse me. Uh, dissipation or loss in there. So I'm going to squeeze those two plates together now so I can get them even closer than they than they are and the capacitance should go way up. There's one side squeezed together. And I have one more over here. We'll squeeze this together. And we're up to 80 picofarads and our loss factor is still very very low. All right, so let's pop those off and take the dielectric out and you can see the difference. The other thing I want to show you here real quick is people think that this is just a capacitor. It's not, it's, it, the, in, in theory it is, but in the real world, there is two other factors that are adding in here. Resistance, right? There's a certain amount of resistance in this, in this piece of aluminum from one end to the other. And there's also, and the same in this side, but there's also inductance there. So let me, uh, let, let's go to the inductance side of this. And right now we have no inductance. Okay, no inductance and no, no ohmic losses. So I'm going to short these out with a clip lead over here, the end of this. And we end up with, let's get it into a scale, we can read that a little bit. 46 nanohenries and 0 0.041 ohms. Okay, very, very low inductance. I'm going to take a piece of wire that has the same round trip as this. Only the, so what would you expect we're gonna see? We're gonna see uh, much higher inductance and we're gonna see much higher resistance because we don't have all this surface area. The surface area is like having wires in parallel, okay? Um, it's also like having, uh, you know, from an inductance perspective, the inductance is gonna go down with these wide surface areas and the resistance is gonna go up, excuse me, um, the resistance of this is going to be much higher. It's a, physically the same round trip. Let's see what that is. From 40 nanohenries. Move the leads over. Just hold those in place. Up to 360 nanohenries. And now the resistance is 0.05 ohms. And let's take a look at this again. Okay. This is point, oh, it says point 0.1 ohms, so evidently this, uh, let's see if down here, no, that, that wasn't connecting very well. It wasn't making good contact down there. But you still can see that this has only 0.07 ohms. Big, you know, the, the um, wide strap is making the resistance go low, but it's also making the inductance go low. So one more time, we'll move from 24 nano henry's and 0 0.007 ohms or maybe let me move this up one and see what yeah 0 0.007 ohms and we'll move back to this piece of just a piece of like uh, number number 9 uh, 20 wire here and we're up to 410 and 0.05 ohms anyway that's all i wanted to show today subscribe if you like it if you really liked it uh uh maybe do a super thanks um, 